But first tonight, a South Dakota woman is now director of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Office of Tribal Relations. On the night beat, Kendall Land's Dan Santella sits down with her and finds out how a rural outlook can influence how American agriculture works. Don, Heather Dawn Thompson of Rapid City had her first day in her new position on Monday. I'm a member of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe in South Dakota, and I live in Rapid City with my family here. Okay. And so my family has long, deep roots in South Dakota, uh, not only on the reservation, but in farming and ranching here in South Dakota. Okay. Um, professionally, I have been an attorney in Indian law for about 20 years. The USDA is headquartered in the nation's capital, just steps away from the Washington Monument. I think living in South Dakota, having my roots in South Dakota, I think I understand how unheard rural Americans, all rural Americans feel um, in Washington, D.C. And I think that's really important. You know, federal government is there to serve us. Thompson explains that her office's work will be diplomatic, given how tribal nations are their own governments. Tribes are just different, right? We always say their legal structure is different, their land ownership is different. And in order to make sure that they have equal access to everybody else, then those differences have to be incorporated into USDA's decision making. And so I'm real honored to be able to bring that expertise with me to USDA. She uses the word thrilled to describe how she feels to have this role with the department. I've been working on tribal economic development for 20 years, uh, and I've been advocating with USDA to yeah. serve Indian country. And so now to be able to actually be at the USDA to increase that advocacy is just a true honor. And we're including a link in this report on Kelland.com to USDA's website where you can read more about Thompson's background.